Hello students, today we saw about virtual instrumentation. My name is Manoj Kumar, Assistant Professor, Megatronics Department. These are the content, Introduction, History, Architecture, Block Diagram, Application, Advantage and Disadvantage. This is the introduction. Virtual instrumentation is a interdisciplinary in the field. It meters is sensing hardware and software technologies. It is used to creating flexible and sophisticated instrument for controlling and monitoring applications. There are several definitions of virtual instrumentation available in open literacy. These are the sum of two. History. The concept of virtual instrumentation was born in later 1970s when the microprocessor technology enabled a machine function to be more easily changed by changing its software. This is the first phase. In the first phase, it is represented by early pure analog measurement device such as horoscopics, etc. They were completely closed detective systems. The second phase, it was started in 1915s, result of demand from the industrial control fields. Instruments started to displace measuring a signal allowing digital processing of data. In third phase, measured measuring instrument become a computer based. As a result, virtual instrumentation made possible decreasing in price of the instrument. As a visual instrumentation depends a very little on detecting hardware and customer cloud now use in own computer. Virtual instrumentation architecture. Virtual instrumentation is composed for following blocks. Sensor module, processing module, output module. In sensor module, performance a signal conditioning. First one. The next one is digital can be display, processed, compared, stored in database and convert it back to analog form for further processing control. It interface a virtual instrumentation to the external analog build. A sensor module principally consists of three main parts. Inputs, the signal conditioning parts, the analog and digital converter inputs the inputs means that means real world data the data get it from real world that through a inputs according to types of connections sensor interface can be classified in wired and non uh, that means wired and wireless wire interface are generally we can use it as wire interface that is such as general purpose interface buses Wireless interface are increasingly used in because of convenience. Next one, signal conditioning. When we get from data from the inputs, we need to get into conditioning. That means it is technically used to convert unusable or unworkable sig signal into usable form of work. Example, some sensor gave signal in micro volts which needs to amplify in order to use in circuits. Next one, analog to digital converter. In real world data, that, that data we need to convert in the form of digital form using ADC. Analog data is converted in form of which computer can easily understand that is digital data. Next, processing model. So after converting the data from analog to digital, we need to process as the program specifies. It allows flexible implementation of sophisticated processing functions. A virtual instrumentation depends a very little on deciding hardware, which principally does not perform any complex processing. Functionality and approach of the virtual instrumentation may be completely changes utilize different processing functions. Output presentation. Computer user interface are much easily shaped. They are changed than conventionally instruments user interface. It is possible to employ more present effects on to the customer's 
the interface from the each user. This is the block diagram. When the inputs gather from the real world, it is signal conditioning. Next, it will it is uh, we need to convert in analog to digital converter. Next, processing and final output. This is the block diagram. This is the example. These are some examples. Next, applications. The first application is biomedical applications. In biomedical applications, the patient, a patient monitoring system can be easily through ritual instrumentations. Next one, in the field of electrical, electrical instrumentation, and understanding the frequency response of multimeters, digital destination resist and individual bridge circuits which can be highly sensitive. Getting acquainted with a digital oscilloscope, so RC and RLC response in secret states. How it is different from traditional instrumentations? The traditional in old and traditional instrumentation and now latest ritual instrumentation, we have difference. That means old traditional instrumentation we have expensive. That means we need higher. everything will be hardware device. Ritual instrumentation we have a software, so it is low costable and we can reusable very uh, frequently. We, uh, when you go for another type of programming means it can be reusable with old functions. These are the some differentiations. This is the examples of traditional instrumentation and ritual instrumentation. Advantage, low, lower cost of instrumentation. That means when you go for a, a traditional instrumentation to ritual instrumentation, cost is reduced and easy to use graphical user interface. That means we have a graphical output very neat uh, analyzing also. So this is very easy to use. Portability between various computer platforms. We, we can uh, take in a software to another computer means it is easily portability. Increasing the utility of computer. Flexibility and disadvantage is security. Security problem. That means uh, information may be accomplished to public users also. And power consumption. The power consumption taken for computer and uh, that means uh, de raw data from every sensor uh, that means continuously running means the power consumption will be higher than older one. These are the disadvantages. Okay, thank you students.